Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. Okay, so this is going to be a, a Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and uh, Taurus Rising weekly tarot reading August uh, 5th to August 11, 2019 and bear with me a second guys to shuffle the, uh, the tarot cards. <clears throat> and uh, we are going to jump uh, straight away, straight away into the reading. All right, so uh, the first card which stands for the topic of your week, Taurus, is going to be the judgment, followed by the second card which represents the challenges that you need to overcome here, that is going to be the Tree of Swords. Afterwards, we do have the Ten of Pentacles, which is the uh, positive aspect. And then the final one that we do have is going to be the Ace of Pentacles, which stands for the uh, Guidance. Uh, that is forgiveness, guys. Uh, the, the, the week is all about uh, you giving a, a forgiveness and second chance into somebody. All right. Uh, it could be referring to reconciliation, for example. It could be referring giving a second chance or forgive a family member, a friend, a co-worker that did you wrong. It's, it's about a giving forgiveness and burying the tomahawks of war, forgetting about the past, focusing on the future and all these kind of stuff. So whoever mistreated you back in the days, uh, it seems that they were going to daily regret it throughout this week, not because you are going to do something to them or you're going to retaliate or anything, right? But because they are going to finally understand what they have lost back in the days, okay? And it's, um, it's remarkable because People get not to people do not get uh, how big blessings they do have around them until they don't lose them. It's it's just the human nature, you know. You don't realize how much you have until you lose what you have. So uh, before we scrutinize the reading, let's run the cards one more time. We do have the judgment as the first one, which is the topic followed by the second one, which is the Tree of Swords, that is the challenges. <clears throat> Afterwards, what we have is the Ten of Pentacles, which stands for the uh, positive aspect. And then the last one here, it is the um, Ace of Pentacles, which stands for the guidance. So now that I run the cards one more time, um, another variation of this reading came to me, which is less likely, all right, the, the forgiveness and um, reconciliation possibly, it's, um, it's more likely. But the other variation here, it is that uh, you are finding a way, okay, so you are struggling with something, either, in the, either into your career or either into your relationship, you are really struggling uh, with, uh, with a specific thing. And um, throughout this week, you're going to find a way how to resolve that thing. However, finding a way to resolve that thing, you are going to face a complete a, um, insubordination or rather like resistance from those which are involved into this thing. All right. Therefore, you cannot expect people to support you. 
and you will have to do it on your own. However, um, once you start doing it on your own, it looks like that you are to start establishing either a, um, a harmonious flows into um, into the relationships which are involved into this endeavor or a, a successful business endeavor. But anyway, uh, the first card, which is the topic, it is the judgment. So judgment speaks for two things, and this is where the uh, the reading kind of splits into two ways. And I will try to cover every variation, you know, because you Taurus are different people, and everybody goes with, uh, you know, with uh, with their own situation. But judgment is about. Um, well, it's about completion, really. It, it is the time just before the completion. It is where you finally got the whole, the every piece of the puzzle and now you are ready to start assembling that, that puzzle. And as well, it's about unity. So these are the two things. It's about unity. It's about combining forces. It's about a, a wake-up call as well, where this wake-up call is not going to be your wake-up call, but someone else's wake-up call, realizing... You know that they have lost by not having you at their side or not by not having you um, as a, a relationship partner or anything and therefore throughout this week coming back to you for a, a forgiveness the accompanied card here is going to be the ten of swords huh. <laughs> it's uh it's going to be a tough thing for you, okay? A very difficult decision, to be honest, with the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords, uh, first of all, formation, it is active friends. As an active friend, this is a, a very huge, impulsive energy, all right? And it's a, no, it's a point of no return as well. So you need to, I, I cannot stress you enough how important it is that you make up your mind exactly as you want it. You shouldn't play with that situation at all because this situation, you are going to be stuck with that thing for a, a quite a long time, maybe for a lifetime, who knows. But once you make up your mind, once you do what, what you want to do, you know, you have to go along with the consequences of it. Meaning, you know, for example, ex husband or ex-wife comes around, asks for forgiveness. If you don't give that forgiveness, you're stuck with it. You ain't going to have a second chance for it. Or if you give that forgiveness, you know, you're stuck with this person for a, quite a long time. So that's why you have to be very accurate with yourself or very accountable with yourself. What kind of a decision you're going to make? Because the whole situation is going to require your... Um, irrevocable decisions or irreversible actions but as well it's important here to recognize that this as well that that that, that situation that you're that is going to appear in front of you throughout this week it's also a, a turning point it is a, a point where you are substituting any uh, a position that finds itself on the rock bottom with a new era that comes into one's life so whatever it is I definitely comes with improvement, okay? But that improvement may not be the improvement you want if you are not accountable towards yourself. And then comes the next card, which stands for the challenges, and that is the Tree of Swords. And it's about healing. It's all about that. And this is why I said that it is more likely to be in regards to reconciliation, either with co-worker, with ex-girlfriend or a boyfriend, ex-husband, friend or so on and so forth. Because this card represents you being, you allowing yourself to heal from the truth or to heal from the negative situation back in the days, the poignant situation back in the days. So that person broke up with you, for example, all right? And you're, you have been heartbroken, you have been annihilated by that thing, okay? And you're still living through it. So it's very difficult for you to forget. It's very difficult. It's going to be very difficult for you to forgive. And that is the challenge itself to accept that what was done was done and now you have to think of what you can what you can do for yourself in the future of course 
Tarot is never meant to make a decisions for you guys. So you are completely open to decide should you move along with this, all right? Or should you say, no, I don't want that to happen again, okay? Or not exactly, but I don't want to live through this thing again, not necessarily with the... Um, with the betrayal, for example, or with the breakup or anything, but let's say you don't want that person anymore or you don't want that endeavor anymore, okay? So uh, you are completely uh, free to say no, you know, I ain't gonna forgive you or I don't want to work with you any longer and these kind of stuff, but you need to know that that is the final decision. You cannot change your mind two days later. Once you say no, no it is for the rest of your life. The accompanied card here is going to be the Six of Pentacles formation. It is a um, active enemies that we do have. So uh, with the Six of Pentacles here, it, it's, a, it's a bit of a tough of a combination, right? It does point that, well, you are gonna lean more toward the no side with, uh, with these cards because it's gonna feel very unnatural for you to give forgiveness that is uh, that additional press or stress upon you making up you know the uh the other decision where you give a second chance okay the six of the six of pentacles is about the natural flow it is about the hierarchy it is it is about uh, how how do i place it it is yeah it is about uh, moving along according to what the universe gives you, okay? And the Three of Swords kills that. So you have another chance to start working with this person again or to start working over that project again, you know, or to be with this guy or a girl again. And it will feel unnatural. And even on top of that, you are going to be healed from the wound that have been delivered to you back in the days. So no wonder here that some of you Taurus are going to have extremely rough time to believe that this situation or this person does deserve forgiveness, okay? And no one is going to blame you if you say no. Uh, the next card here is going to be the uh, positive aspect and we do have the Ten of Pentacles. So the Ten of Pentacles pretty much seals the deal that definitely a, a thing or a person is going to come around asking for your forgiveness or asking for you to trust them one more time because they have learned their lesson, all right? And as a positive aspect, they definitely learned their lesson and they are ready to fix whatever they have the whatever they have broke back in the days. But the Ten of Pentacles also points that throughout the week you're going to be surrounded by warmth, you're going to be surrounded by a uh, comfort as well, which additionally price on the challenge, all right? Because you're going to be very comfortable these days, you ain't going to want to jeopardize that position by it, by allowing uh, someone who betrayed you back in the days to, be, to infiltrate in, okay? And also the Ten of Pentacles here points that you're going to feel extremely um, independent from the situation uh, in any case, meaning that you can, once again, you can say no or yes, whatever. It's There will be no pressure whatsoever for you as a time and as well as the prerequisites to say either yes or no. You're not going to feel yourself obliged to do neither of them, therefore you can do either of them. But like I said, the challenging thing is that you're going to have a very difficult time to believe that this person undergo correction and they are now ready to do the right thing, all right? Uh, the next one uh, is going to be the... Um, Hermit card with these uh, <clears throat> with these two, we do have a passive supporters. It's it's another uh, impulsive uh, impulsive energy here that you need to deal with. So on a positive end, these two cards are uh, dictating intelligence and wisdom in a sense of that you are be you are gonna become completely aware that that is only a once of a lifetime thing what i mean is that once you say yes or no you are stuck with it 
for a quite a long time and therefore you ain't gonna rush it but instead probably as i said in dependence as well probably you're going to withdraw yourself emotionally and uh, not physically but emotionally from the situation so you can uh, <clears throat> wisely and intelligently analyze is this thing a substantial for you all right is this something that you really really want because once you take on this um, on this new direction maybe there is no one there to applaud you for it at all as a matter of fact there won't be anybody to applaud you looking at these cards there are going to be those faithful companions of yours and people and friends which are urging you not to give a second chance because simply the other person doesn't deserve it. And I would say that probably the most of these people ain't deserve it because what they did has no excuse. And finally, we do have the guidance. And now the, the guidance contradicts a lot with the challenge here. Uh, Ace of Pentacles at this point as a guidance is that whatever opportunity you do have throughout this week, it is the opportunity to further your goal, all right? So this thing or this person that comes around which makes it extremely difficult for you to believe that they have undergo correction like I said it is the opportunity you have waited for maybe um, well I would say an opportunity in disguise all right so whatever you do uh, throughout the week you need to once again uh, find out what gives you content what gives you exhilaration what gives you something to look forward to a, a fulcrum to look forward to because the ace of pentacles urges you to aim always for a successful business maneuvers a successful business endeavors and as well to associate only with people that you can have a harmonious flow in their relationships therefore when that if it is a person all right when that person comes around and they asks you for their forgiveness, spend a little bit of a time with them, all right? See if there is a harmony in that rela in these communications and in these relationships. If it is a uh, and an endeavor that have failed you back in the days and comes around one more time, well, try it out for a bit and see, is it a, a successful thing? Can it be a successful thing? Can it be a beneficial? Is there anything in it for you? The accompanied card here is going to be the Queen of Wands formation. It is a uh, passive enemies. And uh, it's, it's a bit of a confusing reading, guys. I know because a lot of the cards are going both ways. It's kind of like these cards. All of these cards are fighting each other for either of the options. You either say, yes, I'm going to try one more time or no, I'm going to try at all. All right. So the, the, the whole thing, it seems very balanced. It's like you are on a crossroad. It's like you are on a turning point and whatever thing you decide in favor of, that will change your future in either way. So with the Queen of Wands here at the, to the Ace of Pentacles, it does point that should you say no, all right, uh, you will be happy or lucrative either way not with the same person not with the same job not with the same endeavor but there are going to be definitely an opportunities that are to come very very close into the future because the queen of wands here plays the role of a magnet so you attract okay and um, you attract for example people who want to be lucrative with you you attract people who are finding you very appealing people who are finding you finding you very attractive as well you know and uh, and in generally this card points that should you decline you know this second chance there are going to be an opportunities for business endeavors there are going to be opportunities for datings and so on and so forth therefore the queen of wands to the ace of pentacles here it does um it does point that you ultimately at the end you have to do whatever is best for you okay it's as simple as that it's always this is the question what is best for me and do i have the courage to do it that's why you need a bit of a seclusion should i say so that being said taurus this was your weekly tarot reading august 5th to august 11 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and we're going to see each other around until then bye